An S3 How To. VI Mobile for Android. First, you'll want to make sure you have some information ready from your admin or installer. The information you'll need is a private IP address, a public IP address, a data port, command port, and a username and password. It is very important that you confirm all information you are given is correct and that you have access to the server you are trying to add with the username you are using. Next, we will download the app. Go to the Play Store, search VI Mobile, and download the VI Mobile app by Video Insight. After downloading the app, find VI Mobile on your phone and open it. After a loading screen, you will see the Server List tab with the Video Insight demo server preloaded with 15 cameras for you to view and test out. To add a server, tap the Add Server button or the plus sign at the top right of the screen. Now you will enter the server and user information that you received in the fields that apply. The internet data port and the internet command port will be the same as your data port and command port unless otherwise noted. Double check you have entered everything correctly and tap connect. If you get the could not connect message you want to check over everything again. If it is correct contact your admin or installer and confirm your server information is correct and that your username and password you are using can access the server you are trying to add. Other steps for troubleshooting a could not connect message would be restarting your phone and trying again, reinstalling the app and trying again. If you're connected to Wi-Fi, try to connect to 4G and try to add the server again. If nothing works, contact your installer. If all information was entered correctly, the cameras will be loaded in and you'll see your server on the server list. There you can select a server to see more cameras and then select cameras to get more options or details. At the top right of the camera page, you can select playback to view recorded video by selecting a date and time to start from, live view, which brings you to the camera's live stream, or details to view settings and motion capture log. If you have a camera with PTZ features, you will see arrows for panning and tilting or zoom in and out buttons. Thanks for listening to this S3 How-To. We hope it helped.